So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and today we have a pretty cool video. We've got some new zombies content coming into Call of Duty and this is via a brand new Halloween event which is officially announced and revealed today. It starts today. It's called Willard Wireless Halloween Scream Event. There is a small trailer that was released so I'll play it for you now and we'll break down what this is afterwards. But we have a brand new boss battle mode inside of zombies. It's really cool. Let's look at the trailer. I'll be back in a moment. Alright, so there we go. Call of Duty's very first Halloween event is finally here and honestly i'm pretty impressed by this it's amazing that the developers still have loads of content to add into the game especially seeing of the time of the life cycle in the game this is pretty much the time where we expect there to be nothing new for infinite warfare as world war 2 is 25 days away from release at the time of this video going live but they're already focusing on more content to put into the game now as you can see this is willard wireless halloween scream event so it is focused a lot on zombies content there is a lot of zombie related stuff happening within multiplayer you can see neil as an mp character i believe there's also pretty much all of the characters within zombies playable as heads within multiplayer but we don't care about that we're interested in what's new for zombies so as the activision blog post reads it wouldn't be halloween without monsters and infinite warfare zombies mode has those in spades the big bosses of infinite warfare are looking for a challenge this october and it'll be up to you and your friends to defeat them in the all new boss battle Battle. If you wanted to tackle the final boss of your favorite Infinite Warfare Zombies episode but had trouble figuring out the main easter egg, then this mode is for you, as you'll skip straight to the climactic fight with the loadout of your choice. Now this is exactly how it's going to work, as you can't just jump on the game right now from today, Monday the 9th of October, as that won't work just yet. The first episode, Zombies in Spaceland, will be available in boss battle throughout the Halloween Scream event, which is taking place between now and November 1st. So from now until the 1st of November, all of this content will be live. And on Friday, the 13th of October, is when boss battle mode will actually become available. This Zombies in Spaceland will be available throughout the Halloween Scream event, so you have more than enough time to annihilate some aliens. As for the four DLC episodes, they'll be available to play in boss battle on a week-by-week -week basis which means that whilst you'll be able to play Spaceland and fight that alien whenever you want with Rave and the Redwoods there'll only be one specific week we can jump into Rave and be able to kill the slasher and the following week you'll be able to go into the Rat King's Lair and Shaolin Shuffle and then the next week you'll be making a seafood salad and attack of the radioactive thing and then you'll head to the ultimate battle which is Mephistopheles in the Beast from Beyond so it's going to work on a week by week basis so Spaceland we can play and fight that alien whenever we want but I think starting from next week we'll be able to attack the slasher and the following week the radioactive thing and then finally Mephistopheles now when I went to Infinity Ward to play DLC 4 early Lee Ross also mentioned that there was something else additional coming to the game at a later point sometime in October and he was referencing this boss battle mode now a load of people that were there at the event got to play it and see a very early version of it I unfortunately was too invested in Beast from Beyond to actually see what was going on. I didn't have a chance to play it, but from what I heard and what he described it as, it was essentially like a full boss battle where you pick your loadout, and I've heard some rumors that it's going to be very similar to the Afterlife Arcade before you fight Mephistopheles, where you get your perks, you get the weapons from the Mystery Wheel, then you jump into the fight just like that. And the way it works is you're going to have like a splash on your screen to show the character you're playing as, your name, and it's almost going to be like a sort of Street Fighter set where you can can really go and challenge against people in real time where you can both be trying to defeat the boss in the quickest time possible it's going to be leaderboards within the actual boss fight itself 
to show your best times and that will also be present on the leaderboards in the combat records i'm sure people have noticed by now they have a boss battle uh, feature on each map and for beast from beyond they have boss battle one and boss battle two of course referencing the rhinos and mephistopheles now activision also say if you love the challenge and satisfaction of figuring out an easter egg you'll be able to play all the zombie episodes normally during the halloween scream event and get to the boss battles that way but if you want to go straight to them then you will be able to who knows if there's going to be some sort of reward for defeating all the boss in this way i'd hope there will be but there's also a few little things that they're giving away within this event itself so apparently you're going to be gifted a free halloween themed supply drop at the beginning of each week this will contain weapon variants camos calling cards even a brand new zombie themed rig skin and each week willard wyler will bring a new loot to his halloween scream and apparently we can get hints on what he'll drop on the infinite warfare website we're going to be getting a free cosmetic item every friday during the event along with one final spooky present the final week that we apparently won't want to miss now i don't think any call of duty developer like treyarch have been really focused on zombies in the sense of them adding a completely brand new mode of sorts into the game for an event we all know that treyarch had eight days of the undead which was a you know interesting experiment didn't quite work but this really pushes the boat out where iw have gone really much further than we expected by creating a brand new mode entirely for us during this event now the one thing that i really hope hope isn't the case and if any developers at infinity ward are watching on the zombie side please please keep this mode in once this event is over it just sounds like this is going to be something which we can play during the course of halloween and then once halloween's ended we're not going to have this boss battle mode anymore which will be a damn shame because by the sounds of it a fair amount of resources and time went into creating this boss battle mode and it'd be a shame for it to be gone and never return into the game this should be a permanent thing which we should have within the game it should always stay there because it sounds really really fun and uh, me personally i like the boss fights in iw and going to be able to go straight to them is really damn fun and i like the sound of that now i don't want to sound like i'm complaining at all because i love the sound of the stuff they're doing in this event and i'm really happy that they're doing an event but since it is called Will wireless halloween scream event it just annoys me a tiny bit that there seems to be a bit more mp focus than there is zombies when this event is literally titled something around zombies sure we're getting the boss battle mode which is going to be insane but it's like very small bits of content that we're going to be getting over the course of the few weeks rather than multiplayer just has a load of new stuff dropped right at once i feel that there should be a tiny bit more of a focus on some more zombies content that we can get our hands on right now rather than just this episodic waiting each week but aside from that i'm really excited and looking forward to this and of course on friday i'll be live streaming this boss battle mode on zombies in spaceland and hopefully raven the redwoods will be available as well we'll have to see exactly how this thing works to quickly round up what's happening within this we're getting gesture warfare if you guys know that multiplayer mode seems to be quite popular actually and quite funny that's going to be running throughout the event there's an mp map called carnage which will be free to play in the game throughout the event the new boss battle mode available for infinite warfare warfare zombie maps zombies in space land will have the boss battle for the entire event dlc zombies maps will have the boss battles on a week by week basis there's gonna be a free supply drop of new exclusive halloween loot available weekly and you'll get a free cosmetic item every friday with the final free item being a spooky surprise let me know what you think down below in the comment section of this do you care at all about this sort of event does this want to get you back into playing iw zombies in any way are you still playing iw zombies a lot are you on xbox or pc waiting for beast from beyond to drop which will drop later this week let me know where you stand if you're excited uh, for more zombies content some new fresh stuff coming into call of duty make sure to drop a thumbs up on the videos i really would appreciate that make sure to check out my last video talking about world war 2 zombie leaks and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest info with iw and world war 2 and black ops zombies it's all happening over here today my friends i'm looking forward to this i hope you guys are too and have a great day i'll catch you next time